Trump's ICE unleashes arrest sweep that has illegals racing for the border. Here's some news you won't hear on the mainstream media. The left loves to distort illegal immigration. They claim President Trump is going after innocent families. Liberals claim that his policies target people just trying to survive. They ignore the fact he's only following our laws. The truth is much different. Weak immigration enforcement encourages criminals. Dangerous people sneak across the border. With them they bring drugs, violence, and all sorts of criminal activity. The good news is, we're winning. Trump's ICE is busting heads and talking names. They just announced a recent sting across two states. The people they arrested? They weren't the friendly type. From Briet Bart. Operations by federal officers in two states led to the arrest of nearly 50 criminal illegal immigrants. The efforts took place in Kentucky and Michigan. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE, Enforcement and Removal Operations ERO, officers carried out a four-day targeted operation in western Michigan to round up criminal illegal aliens. During the operation, Officers took 27 foreign nationals into custody 80% of those arrested had criminal histories, according to information obtained by Briet Bard Texas from ICE officials. One of those arrested included a 23-year-old Mexican national with a prior conviction for assault on a law enforcement officer and failure to stop at the scene of an accident, officials stated. Another arrested illegal immigrant cited as a 31-year-old Mexican man. His criminal history includes a history of assault and battery, domestic violence, and indecent exposure. During the operation, ICE officers arrested five illegal immigrants previously deported from the U.S. These five individuals will face federal prosecution for illegal re-entry after removal. The two-day operation that ended on December 7 took criminal aliens off the streets of Kentucky, including those with histories of assaulting a police officer child neglect, forgery, fraud and driving under the influence. Four of the arrested immigrants were reported to be immigration fugitives while six illegally re-entered the U.S. The left continues to ignore these people. Criminals enter the United States. That's thanks to weak immigration standards. These criminals are members of drug cartels. They are extremely dangerous. Worst still, the government has a hard time finding them thanks to their undocumented status. Things are changing, thanks to President Trump. Our government is actually following the law. Illegal immigrants and criminal aliens are being apprehended and deported. We are sending a message to all would-be criminals, don't come here. Be sure to share this story with everyone you know. The liberal media will try to hide it. They will try to prevent people from knowing the truth. Let's not let them. Let them.